Be'ez HaShem is we begin Perk Tashi, the ninth chapter in the Ram Vesel HaShchit, the laws of slaughtering in the Sefer Kedusha, which we continue on the theme of the eight types of trafers that there are, continuing with the Pesuka, the Krua, and the Nefula. As Ram opens up in Allah Aleph with the next tarfus of Pesuka, which means to be severed, as he discusses that of specifically the Chut HaShedra, the spinal cord. Says Ram Ketz at Hausa. So he says Chut HaShedra, the spinal cord. Shenitzak Ha'or HaChaifa Es HaMoyach that if the skin that covers the marrow was cut, it was severed, so the trefa, the animal is going to be trefa, even if the marrow is still there. Obavachi pasagreva kefa, as long as the majority of the circumference was severed. Avalam nista ka'or la arka, but let's say if the skin was cut, was cut in its length, oinik of ore is perforated, then mutaras, then as long as it wasn't severed in the majority of the circumference, it's going to be permitted. Pchenim nish bruda hashudra, so if the backbone broke, and the spinal cord was not severed. Even if the marrow inside the spinal cord was crushed, then it's not that and it's, it's shaking it's from its place. But since the, the, the skin on top is intact, it's going to be permitted, as the Gorn tells us that the marrow doesn't make a difference, it goes up or down, but as long as the skin is there. Yeah. However, let's say the marrow decayed, the nishpach kamayim and the pores are like water, or kadonik shanomay, so like wax that was melted. As shimotze achot, until you find that the the spinal cord kishma midoy, when you stand it up, in oimer it doesn't stand again because it, of its marrow that decayed inside. Well, then how reads the trefa? Then it's going to be a trefa. And the main yochalam they covered it. Let's say the 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 spinal cord can't stand not because it decayed but because of the weight. Then there is a suffix, Then that's a doubt if that would be considered as a trefa or not. Okay, so we're talking about this pesuka, the severance is regarding the spinal cord. So, but where do we define, anatomically speaking, up until where is the spinal cord? So, it starts, its beginning is right beyond the glands, which is called beans, because it looks like these two little beans, which is the beginning of the neck, meaning right after the head. At Saif Parshashni until the end of the second divider, which Ram is going to show, is going to explain next halacha what that is. Shlei Shachara Ela Parshash Shlei said, "There's nothing after that, but the third compartment, Hasmuch Litchil Tzali, which is close to the beginning of the tail. Up until that point, that's all considered the spinal cord." As Ram explains, halacha Dal says, "B'Shalosh Parshash and there's three dividers of this area. Beilin and they are Shlei Shatzam is the book of the three bones connect to one to the other. Lamata Machulia Shal Shadra that are beneath the vertebrae of the backbone." which, again, up until the end of the second one, that is the area of the spinal column, uh, for the spinal cord. Now, and the spinal cord in fowl is ad bin goes up until between the wings. But, but beneath those areas, we're not concerned for the, although the, the, the cord does continue over there, we're not concerned, because again, that does not have in halacha the status of the chut shadra whether if the skin was severed, whether if the marrow was decayed, it doesn't make a difference. We only qualified for the status of tarfas up until the point of the end of the Parsha Shnir. Halacha Ram continues with the next tarfas of Kurua, one of the eight Halacha Meshav as if it's torn. Ketzad Hauso, Basa Chifes Rivakaris, the flesh that covers the majority of the stomach. Bo'amokam in the bet, and that's the area of its belly. Shemikareya, that if it Tear, yitzah karis, the stomach would come out, and nikra basazev, that flesh is torn, trefa, the animal is going to be a trefa. And ava bishle gia kera la karis achaniris, even though the tear didn't reach all the way to the stomach until it's visible, and the cave and shenikra rave avi abasazev, but since the majority of the thickness of this flesh was cut, oinitlov was removed, trefa, it's going to be a trefa. Now, the kamashar kera, what's the measurement of this tear? But arka, in its length, it's a arch tefach, it's a tefach long. Now, the most of the blood is a small animal. The nikru roiv oiricha basra, chifas akaras, and the majority of the length of the flesh that covers the stomach was cut. So, alpha bisha imba oiricha kera tefak. So, even if the length of the tear doesn't have a, that of a hand breath, chifas can be a chifas because oil the nikru ruba, since the majority of it was, 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 was torn, that's going to be sufficient to make it into a chifas. Halacha vav. Nikter ha basra zeb. Let's say this flesh was cut out, beagle in a circle, like oirich or uh, elongated. So, if it was more than that of the size of a coin of a cella, which is a little bit more than a third of a tefach, and that is, as the Ramah qualifies, that you could, you could fit into that hole three date seeds, uh, one near each other, tightly pressed, 
Hey, it's a trefa. If you're missing that size, it's going to be a trefa. And the reason for this is she'im yimotech carries it because if this tear would extend, yam al tefach, it's going to be the size of a tefach, which again, that is the tear of a hand breath, which makes the animal into a trefa. Halacha zayin. Let's say you have an animal, the entire skin was skinned, and whether it was done by hand or some type of illness, but it's, it doesn't have any more skin. It's just the flesh without skin. That makes the animal into a tray. This is what it's called galuda. Now, but let's say there's leftover from the skin, a thickness of a cella, along the entire surface of the backbone. V'reich v'sel al atabu, you also have the thickness of a cella on the navel. V'reich v'sel al roshay v'reich, you also have the thickness of a, of, of, of a coin, that, that measurement of that size on the tips of its organs, of its limbs. Then it's going to be sufficient skin to make the animal permitted. Now, v'mnitl k'reich v'sel al kolpani atreja, let's say the other way around. Let's say it was removed like the whiff of a cella from the entire surface of the backbone. Oime al tabur, or from the navel area. Oime al roshay or from the tips of its limbs. Usha, kolar, kaim, and the other way around. And, and the rest of the skin is actually still intact. Or is a suffix? That is a suffix if that's a trefa or not. So the Rambi, you're all leashed, and it appears to me that as long as you have the skin on these primary areas, that it's going to be permitted. Halach has Rambi continues with the next tariff, is that of nefula, of if it's a fallen one. Says Ram Kitzad, how so? What is that tarfus? Says Rashi, Nafla Habehema, here we're talking about specifically, Ram is going to shortly say regarding fowl, he's talking about regarding animal, the halacha. Rashi, Nafla Habehema, Mimokum Gavaya. Let's say an animal fell from a high area, Shagavi Asar Tvacham, Ayesa, that was a ten Tvacham or more. The Nisrasa gave him a briah, and one of the limbs got dislodged, it got crushed from the fall. Ari is a trefa, the animal is going to consider it as a trefa. The kids were a risuk. What's considered risuk that that the that the limb uh, got got crushed? She writes it's a that the that the limb, the organ the limb should be crushed. The yach la machmas nafila and should become ill because of the fall. Actually, they passed to rusty b'tarai that it lost its form and its appearance again because of the of the fall. After bishlei nikiv, even if it wasn't perforated, v'le nistak and it didn't break, v'le it wasn't uh, it didn't crack, v'le nishba didn't break. Still, I raise the trefa is going to be considered as a trefa. So too, it's not only if it actually fell. Let's say they hit the animal, but even the with a stone or with a stick, one of the limbs broke. It, it got crushed. So trefa, it's going to be a trefa. And regarding which limbs are we talking about? We're talking about the organs that are in the cavity of the body of the animal. We have an animal that fell from the roof. So, imholcha, if it walks, we're not concerned for this nafula that if it's, if it's ritzutza, because obviously nothing happened, it could still walk. Let's say it stands, but it doesn't walk. Well, then and then we are concerned, and then it's like this middle stage, you would have to do a bedik, you'd have to inspect it. But let's say kavtza machmas atzma. Let's say it didn't fall from the roof. It jumped from itself off this height. And then then we're not concerned, because any animal that jumps, it evaluates first to make sure that it's not going to have this restook. It's not going to crush any of its limbs. Now, let's say, let's say you don't know what happened. You just left the animal up, uh, up above and you find it lower down. Again, in Chesh L'Hashem, I'm not concerned that it fell. Animals generally have that, that instinct, that survival instinct, and we presume that it jumped off and it didn't fall. And again, therefore, that wouldn't make it into a trefa. The Ram continues. He says, Zacharim, the males, either that of rams or of the ox and Hamanachim, that they gore each other. Which that's what the males do. We're not concerned for them having this problem of risuk of the dislodging of the limbs, even though they're goring each other. But enough arts if they fell down to the ground, then then we are concerned that maybe there was this risuk. And the Khemehema Shaisim Gudas Ragala Sotu of an animal is dragging its feet. We're not concerned, oh, why is it dragging its foot? Maybe its its organ has been crushed. Maybe that uh, the spinal cord has been severed. We're not concerned generally. Uh, for an animal that has one of these problems. Halacha Yod Aleph says the Ram, let's say Ganovim Shagavim Hatzloim. You have the thieves that steal lambs. Umashlichim Maisim Lachoy Adir. Now, how do they steal? You have to throw it over the walls of the corral. So, in Chayish Lam Mishim Risikavam, well, when it throws it over as it falls, maybe the animal is going to have Risikavam where it becomes dislodged. No, we're not concerned with that. Neshim Mashlichim Maisim El Bekavana Shleish Tabro Abbaru. Obviously, they're trying to steal the animals they don't want to get ruined. They make sure to throw it over in a way that's not going to break. 
Now, let's say they return the animals and they throw it back into the corral. And they're doing this machmas here because of fear, because they're going to get caught by the authorities or whatever, then they will no more concern, because they're just going to chuck it over and whatever's going to happen, happen. But machmas truly, they do because of repentance, and Cheshul, they were not concerned with that, because the nation of and Hashem, obviously the intention is to repent and to return it back intact. They're going to be careful as they throw it back in, and then we wouldn't have to be concerned for the problem about Risu. Allah Yud Beis. Shorshe Bitsu Halashchit, if there's an ox that they had made it lay down because they're going to slaughter it. So although it made a huge bang, a huge fall, when, when they were throwing it down to slaughter it, I'm not concerned for Risuk over there. The animal knows what's happening. It sticks in its fingernails, and it braces for itself until it falls down to the ground. So it makes a huge... Pfft. The animal is not just having an afilo, and therefore that would not be a Risuk. Let's say they hit an animal on its head. And the, the, the wound goes, the hit is towards, from the head towards the tail. Or on the tail, but it goes towards the head. Even if it hits it with a stick along the entire backbone, I'm not concerned for Ritzig over there, because the whole body absorbs that hit, and it doesn't injure it in the treif away. Now, but let's say the stick had different bulges coming out of it, different a point, then Chayshul and everyone concerned for that because it doesn't just hit it along the entire thing, it's going to hit it in individual spots. So to be Megir, Reish HaMata, Lemiktas HaShedra. Let's say if the top of the stick only gets part of the spine, then Chayshul and concerned for that because again, it's, the impact is in one place, that could be a huge injury. Let's say instead of hitting the length of the backbone, it's on the width, again, it's hitting it in one impactful place, then Chayshul and everyone concerned that maybe that would actually make a risuk and make the animal into a treifer. Now, Lachid Dal Duram continues regarding this nefula as it applies to oif, to fowl. Says Ram, oif shenech badal dava kasha. If a bird uh, got a clop, fell on something hard, could go in krisha chitim, let's say a pile of wheat, or kupish al shkedim, or a mound of almonds, or kids, and things like that, which are hard, chesh and risuk of Ram, they were concerned that maybe it had this risuk, this crushing of the organs. Now, v'nech b'al dava rach, but let's say it banged itself on something soft, kigun k'sus k'fula, like a folded blanket, v'atev, and straw, v'efer, and ashes, a casement, and things like that, and then then we're not concerned for risuk over there. Halach t'ezvav, let's say nidbuku k'nafav, b'devek b'shat seidah, let's say when the animal was, was trapped, when it was caught, the wings were, got glued together, v'nishabit, and that caused the animal to, to fall, so in b'konaf achaz nechaz, if it was only caught on one wing, then they were not concerned for risig over there. The reason for that is because it can still fly with the other wing, and it'll have an emergency landing, but it'll come down slowly, and then it's not just going to bang down and get risig. But the nech has bestechen off of. But let's say it got caught on its two wings, and it's glued together, and it's chabit begufa, and then banged its, by its whole body, then they were concerned for that, that landing, that crash landing, that, that might have made risig give up. Let's say nech bat al Let's say it banged itself on the surface of the water. We came banging into the water. So imshat malik kamasai. So how do we evaluate if like this nose dive into the water and it just crushed itself? If that's risig or not? So imshat malik kamasai. If it swims the, the its whole length mimata lamalam from bottom upwards laumas amayim opposite the water upstream. Then in Chayshalai, then we're not concerned because that's like what we have by the animal of if it walks, that you don't have to check it. Here also, I wouldn't have to check. But let's say it, was, it then starts swimming from the downstream with the water, then in Chayshalai, then we are concerned for that. So we don't know, maybe it's the water that's taking it and it's not really swimming by itself. But let's say it beat, it's quicker than the straw that was also going on the surface of the water. Then you know it's swimming by itself. And again, it's like halicha ben chayshla. Then we're not concerned that it became a treifa. And obviously, there was no risuk. Halacha yitzan says, "Ram kamokim shemayim ben chayshla." Wherever we said that, we're not concerned for it. Mortalish chamiyat. You're allowed to slaughter the creature right away. Ben atzar livdik shem in the strasik. And you don't have to inspect that maybe that limb became crushed. Now, kamokim shemayim ben chayshla. Wherever we said we are concerned for that. So im shchat if it was slaughtered, atzar livdik connected kala chal kulei. So you have to do an inspection. The opposite the whole internal part of the animal, from the skull of the head down to the hip, down to the, to the thigh bone, and to check if they're in the cavity of the animal, if there was any uh, trefa of Risa Givar. 
Because like we said, that's the research is regarding the internal organs. In Matzah, but Trevor, and Trevor, Shem, and so if we find one of the Trevors that we mentioned, or you find that it's crushed one of the internal organs and it lost its form, there's a Trevor, so the animal's a Trevor. And even if one of the limbs that got crushed, that if it was removed, it would be kosher, like the spleen and the kidneys. But in this case of Risuk, Haris the Trev would make it into Trev. Except for the uterus, and there it would be crushed, Haris the the animal would still be permitted. Which means the Simone Shrita, which is the, the food pipe and the windpipe. There, they don't have to be checked. Bakan over here in this situation. Because the fall, which is what we're talking about over here, which is why we're checking, does not crush them and therefore we don't have to check them. Let's say it fell from the roof and it didn't stand up. It's an Allah slaughter that animal. Until you first, uh, you wait for a period of 24 hours. If you slaughter within that 24 hour period, as a trefa, the animal we consider as a trefa. But if you slaughter after 24 hours, and it was still alive, then you do the b'dikah like we explained in the Lachiyah Zayin, and then that would be sufficient to make the animal kosher. So let's say someone steps with his foot on the bird. Or an animal stepped on the bird. Or crushed into the, banged into the wall. And it's shaking. Here also, you have to let it wait for the period of 24 hours, because in all these three situations, we're concerned of Risa Givarim. If you wait 24 hours, and then you slaughter it, and then you check inside. Like we explain what the inspection is. Halacha Chavav Ram continues regarding the simonim of the Khan and the Vesh that we spoke about, regarding if they separate. Says Ram, simonim shenadal l'rubam. Regarding if the simonim, if the majority of it got uh, shaken off, meaning uh, the Ram is considering this trefa in the category of the fula, because the simonim, they tend to become a dudal to start uh, hanging off by a uh, nefila. So if the majority of it is nidaldalu, if they're, uh, they're disconnected, so trefa is going to be trefa. Vafila shaloi machmas nafila. And even if it wasn't because of nafila, we just mentioned because generally that happens from a nafila. And v'chein in this kaplu, so to fled say, they were folded over, which they were both uprooted, or the majority of one of them along the length of the neck. Shari in rum l'shchita, because in this state they're not fit for slaughtering, where the truth is when it's folded over, not a little latrefa because of the folding over. It's just because you won't be able to shech, and therefore it's going to be, that's why it's forbidden. Aval nespar grave tarbitz haveshe, but let's say the majority of the tarbitz haveshe, which is the entrance the, of the, of the veshe, of the food pipe, if that got, that got detached, min halechi from the jaw, but the simonim are, are attached in the length of the neck, and they're also attached to each other, so then harizim materis, it's going to be permitted, and the reason for this is she'in the tarbets roll the shchita because that area the tarbets are veshed, which is the top part of the veshed. That area is is not fit for slaughtering. So there's no problem about ikur simanim. If the whole thing gets detached, that's ikur and that's going to be forbidden. Now, since the tarbets is totally uprooted from the jaw, so it's not possible in that situation that the simanim not going to be detached from where they're attached along the length. But if everything is attached, the only thing that's detached is the tarbets are veshed. That we said this nidadlu is only a problem because of the shechita. You won't be able to do the shechita. That's only in the actual kan and the veshet itself. But, but on the top, the tarbets of veshet, which is not where you do shechita anyway, so that doesn't have this psul of, again, like we said, it's not really psul of nefula itself. We said it usually happens to nefula, and that's why we're discussing it. But it's only a problem because you won't be able to do shechita. So that's only a problem in the makam shechita. And tarbets of veshet is not a place of shechita. Kamesh B'an, like we explained in Parak Avalachav, and therefore, since it's not a makam shechita, this fact has nidadlu then that nisparik, a rave tarbet from the lechi, that wouldn't make the animal into a trave.